What's up everybody? Viper here, back in Imperium Galactic Survival. And uh, today we're going to go ahead and end up building our first ship and hopefully getting our base set up. I did quite a bit of digging and uh, using the little basic constructor that you get when you uh, you build it in your survival constructor, the uh, portable constructor. I was able to build all the uh, concrete I needed to be able to work on my base. Hopefully my old base setup will uh, continue working with uh, the new updates. But uh, I'm going to put my solar solar arrays out there in the water. I got a bunch of these things that always keep spawning over here. But they're not that big of a threat. And then I'm going to go go down in here. I got to finish up stuff in here, but this is just basic and I went going way down. Running, 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 running. Then I'm going to put a bunch of turrets in here. And then I'm going to have my constructors over here. And I built this concrete just by uh going into this basic constructor and then you can build your con concrete blocks in these things so I'll have all of my construction stuff in here and I'm not sure what I'll do in here but I'm gonna put or I end up put my core way down here so hopefully if they attack they'll target the core and I have some places above the core that actually uh, so I can place them some turrets so hopefully they'll be able to take them out and if they actually walk I'll end up putting a turret here as well and here and then doors but my core is right under here I'll end up armoring in this probably later on but I'm gonna put my power generation over here and the solar battery things and then probably storage over here And then I still have all kinds of room to be able to expand out. But I won't be needing to go back and forth to that, that area because with the uh, Imperium you can you can have stuff linked to your to yourself so you can get your inventory just by standing on a block. You don't have a, you don't have to actually go to the storage container and uh, move stuff around. And I'll probably put a hangar somewhere over here at some point. Just not once I get an actual drill hover vessel or something. Because I really don't want to have to drill that out myself. This took long enough, just, just what I did. But they did add some nice, cool little textured blocks for... Uh, and then once I can paint them, it'll be a whole lot... Uh, it'll look a whole lot better and get some lights in here. Right now, I've been having to use my... Uh, stupid flashlight or my drone which has a flashlight on it for when I'm digging and stuff and you can also place blocks with the drone too so it makes it quite uh quite convenient for getting in high places or places you can't really get to but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start constructing my shuttle I'm going to go to the blueprints, and I'm just going to build one of the basic ships. And it's this one I like usually building. Uh, it's relatively cheap. So you go to the factory, and then you just start shoving your materials into this uh, center place right here. And it'll add it. I guess I had the wrong number of iron ingots. Copper... It's like it carbon substrate. Alright, let me go get some more stuff. I am short some stuff. Don't need that. Carbon substrate. You can put more than what it needs, but early game, I don't want to put too much stuff in there because I need it. So I'm just going to put the exact amount. And you can uh, 
if you select it with the left click you can right click to uh, put down individual pieces and I need six more all right so we got everything we need we're gonna go ahead and start production and then it's just going to uh, the timers just gonna go down right here and while that's going on I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to those mining those uh, ore nodes that are around these three and I'm gonna finish mining them out but I got I'll show you the the rest of it where I have the the turrets already laid out where they're gonna go and you have to connect everything by a block if you want it to power for the power to go up so everything's connected by a block but it's it's underneath all right where's it at it's hard to see with the damn rain in so here we're gonna I'm gonna put the a turret on each one of these. Let me see if I can get a higher view. On each one of these little pedestals, I'll put a turret and one on the top. So I'll have five turrets here, and at least three of them will be able to shoot at any direction. And my core is directly below the center of this, this middle one, but it's all the way down to the very bottom of the ground. I missed one of these. Da, da, da. So hopefully this should be enough to uh, defend my base, at least the first part of it. Let's go mine some ore so we can get that... Uh, that ship will be done, and then hopefully we can start building some generators and some fabricators, some storage and ammo, all the stuff we're going to need to actually continue on. All right, I'm just putting those remove on way, uh, remove on approach waypoints. All right, then I'm going to pull out my little drone, and where did it go? Oh, it's still 37 meters over here. Now let me move my ship. I really like using this uh, drone for any type of really mining. You can scout with it when you go on the NPC bases. You can use it for scouting so you don't have to risk getting killed straight off the bat. You can kind of scope out the area. They will target it and destroy it, but you can just uh, pull in another one so you're not losing your drones. So I'll bring you back in a second when I finish the mining all this node out. All right, so that's the copper node completely gone. Eventually, when I get the uh, better drills, I'll try to close these up so I don't fall in them. But I can't do it right now. Let's head over to... Uh, what's this close to? Silicone? Yeah, silicone. Run over here to the silicone. Go ahead and kill these guys. Hey. Back off. Alright, any more of you? Alright, we're gonna mine this out. Get some good old silicone. And I'll bring you back in a second when I finish with this one. Damn, things attacking me while I'm trying to work. Let 
Here we go. That guy's a little quick one. He's getting revenge for me killing his buddies. Alright, that's it for the silicone. Let's go finish up the iron. Now those guys almost killed me. Just been using this nice little uh, starter hover vessel. There are the holes over here. I don't know if that hole is going to be too far away. I'm just going to go right here and I'm going to leave my hover vessel on. That way I'm a little bit higher. So hopefully nothing will be able to mess with me here. And then I'm just going to go straight down into the iron. This little drone was such a lifesaver when I actually figured out there was a drone in the game. I remember watching videos of people playing this game and I not see their drone. I was like, where the hell did they get this drone from? And then finally I was curious enough to actually look through the controls to find it. Alright, that completely gets rid of the iron. Let's uh, head back to base. And then we can start smelting this stuff. There is nice views in this game. I definitely like the, the way the scenery is in this game. All right, back in. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep till daylight. That way, it's a little bit easier to see. Get my flashlight out. Once I build a suit, I'll have the, the suit uh, flashlight, so I won't have to use this handheld one. Fuel. And if you hit, uh, if you hit shift and click it, it'll give you 10, but if you hit shift or control and click it, it'll give you uh, stacks of 100. Get these melted down. These bugs were really freaking me out. I thought there was something crawling all over my uh, my monitor earlier. I don't know if you'll you'll see them. I don't know more more when we're down here, but there'll be like random bugs, like spiders and stuff. And it was definitely weird. I just saw one. Or I'm freaking out one or the other. Alright, is that a uh, blueprint about done? Ah, it's completed right here. So you go to uh, the own once it's done. And then we'll go upstairs and hit spawn it in. Well, that's cooking here. But with that, uh, that little small vessel, I'll be able to defend my base even if, if I can't get enough turrets. I'll just have to build a bunch of minigun rounds, and then I'll be able to go and actually scout the base and stuff. So I'm just going to shove it up here. Actually, I'll just they'll shove it down here. I think it's big enough. Alright, so we're going to go into your blueprints, and then you go over here to own, and you click this, and you hit spawn. And you can put it wherever, 
wherever it's green, it'll let you put it, and then it'll drop to the ground. So this is the basic one I start with. It's got uh, four mini guns on it, and then you can put other stuff on it later. But it has a detector and everything you basically need. These open up, shows your uh, your ammo locker. There's an O2 station in it, O2 tank, fuel tank, cargo. It has a fridge as well. Uh, it doesn't have a construction constructor, but that's fine. I don't really need it right now. Let's go ahead and put some gas in it. And if you heard that little weird click, it just uh, connected to the base. So eventually I'll be able to go through the inventory. And then, which one is it? This one. You can set it up for your base. This is the prefab tier one small vessel. And you can go through their cargo boxes and you can move stuff. Uh, it's really easy for inventory management in this game. But I'm going to go to this far right one, top one, the control panel. And I want to add some fuel. So I'm just going to go to manage, and I'm just going to start dumping this stuff. Until it's full. Alright, now i got a full tank. Uh, let's see how long that would give me. 175 minutes, 60 minutes. So an hour of flight time. Definitely overshot a little bit. And then I wait till it clicks and then I turn it off and get out. If I got something in the fridge, then I might leave it running. And I might end up going into the uh, uh, control panel and turning off the, uh, the thrusters and stuff like that just to try to save fuel. But I won't need oxygen. I'm not going out into space yet, so I don't need that. And this Pentaxin... Does it even have a shit, uh, tank? I don't think it does. Let me check. If you go to devices, you can see what all is in it. Uh, it has one cargo box, one ammo box. A bunch of different thrusters. Four Gatlin guns. And then... You go to statistics, it'll tell you a bunch of stuff about the, the ship. But one thing I do when I first get a ship is I go to save template on the main screen. That way when I have a, a repair station later on, I'll be able to repair it to its uh, original form. Because it's going to take damage and I'm probably going to have to put, put armor blocks back on it. And... If you don't have this saved, it'll just repair whatever's on it. But you'll be able to save it or repair it to a template if you have this saved. So I always just try to save that. Alright, so now we can start constructing all the stuff we need for power and um, go from there. So let's get down here. We're going to need definitely some minigun rounds so we can arm that little small vessel actually let's go ahead and go to uh, our blueprints and figure out what we're gonna need we don't need an O2 station right now we've got a fuel tank don't need a gravity generator this is for a uh, base like out in the space like a space station the whole the whole shields are uh, Something that'll be nice to, to save us. Uh, we'll take less damage, but we'll be using a lot of this pentaxid stuff. And the only place to get that around here is to go to the, the moon. And we, we got to get up to level 13, 12 and 13 anyway to use it. Offline protection, that's for uh, multiplayer. 
Same with the claim device. They have elevators, hangar doors, uh, boarding ramps. I don't need any of that stuff right now. Um, I'd like to get armor doors. Plant lights. That's so you can grow inside. I'm going to need a small constructor and a large constructor. Can I get an advanced instrument? And it let me build in advance. The furnace is where you can take all your ore and it really smelts it down really fast. They're nice to have. Same with the just deconstructor. It lets you take the, the crap you find and throw it in there and it'll make it into the parts it comes into. What can oh. Gotta get a cargo box. I need an ammo box. I'll need these controllers. I don't know if I really need those or not. I can't remember. Um, good to have a medical device. An armor locker. That way I'll be able to make armor. And then... But you have to have this armor locker... To be able to put it on. Or at least you used to. I'll have to make sure it's still the same. Repair station. I don't need that right now. I want some large solar panels. I want these projectile turrets. This is probably what I'll make first off. And maybe a couple of sentry turrets if I got enough. So let's go ahead and get that stuff building. Is this stuff... Uh, yep, that's done. 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 Alright, I'm going to shove all this stuff in here. And base. I need a small generator, a small constructor, and yeah, I might as well build that as well while we're at it. Where's my armor? Weapons? Oh, I think I unlocked that. Let me unlock the light armor real quick. It's under weapons, light armor. I just want the light armor so I can get a, put my helmet on and I'll have a light and then I'll also have a jump jet, like a jet pack. Alright, so we got the basic stuff done. We got a small generator, fuel tank, small constructor, and then some body armor. I'm going to put my uh, small constructor over in here. You can't place it with the, against the wall because I have the uh, these little half walls so I gotta place it away from the wall I'm gonna put it there and then let me go put the uh, generator and the fuel tank down give me a sec uh, I'm gonna run down here all right I'm gonna put down my fuel tank and you can rotate it to wherever you want to, however you want it to look. There's different sides on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. And then I'm going to put my little generator down. And I guess I'm just going to put it right there for now. If you go into your devices, you can turn it off or on. So right now I'm just going to turn it off. Until I get back to my other side of the map. So I'll be right back. Once I got everything constructed, you know, the base really running, I won't have to be going back and forth all the time. Alright, so let me pull this stuff out of here. All this, uh... materials and we're going to shove it in here oh no mind I can't do that I need to make a uh, storage first I should have remembered that um, and I need cargo box can I make an ammo box too 
I'm just gonna make four of them right now. I'll end up making, I don't know, a whole lot of these. Maybe bringing in a, a couple of the different uh, box vessels. There's like a... Let me just pull it up so you can see it. There's uh, cargo. Like each one of these small vessels has a whole bunch of different uh, cargo on it. And then you can dock it into like a mothership or your base and you can use that as a, a lot of storage. Alright, so I got my cargo boxes here. I'm going to put uh, some ammo boxes on the other side and eventually expand it out and put more cargo boxes. I went ahead and tried these uh, little circular blocks. But eventually I'm going to change this out so I can actually ride my bike through it. I tried to ride my bike in earlier and uh, I ended up just glitching on top of the surface, which is kind of weird. But you can uh, use your bike for long, you know, if you got a long base or whatever, you can get on your bike and run through without any issues if you got a, a decent sized corridor. See, it don't even have to be this big. It'd just be one block. One block square, you can uh, use it just fine. All right, so now you take, go to your constructor, and you go to your input, and then you have, like, cargo box, and then cargo box one for your output, or the same cargo box. I like to have different ones. So now I'm going to have to take this stuff, and I'm not going to have to go all the way back to... Uh, back down to where I put the cargo boxes, I could just go to uh, this little tab here, the logistics screen, and then I switch this down to base, and I want the cargo box. So now I'm going to shove all this stuff into the cargo box. And now it'll start taking from that cargo box. And then now I want to make a a larger constructor. Let me find the ammo box. Where's the ammo box? Can I not make an ammo box in here? Looks like I need the other. I need to use a large constructor to be able to make the ammo box. I can make 15 millimeter bullets in here, which I believe the minigun takes. Where's the miniguns? 15 millimeter bullets. So I will queue up like 10 of those. Alright, I'm an idiot. I need to turn the power on. As I turned it off, remember? So nothing's constructing right now because the power's off. So go back into here and I'm going to turn the power on. And then now it's it started constructing. While that's built, I'm going to go ahead and put my... Uh, locker down. Oh, shit, I don't even know where the hell I want to put this. I'm just going to put it right here for now. I'll probably end up moving it later, but I'll need to get another, uh, another tool to be able to do that. But to put your suit on, you go to your locker, and then you put it in your armor. So now I have armor. And then you'll be able to get these, uh, addition like these uh, boosters and stuff and you can put them in there so now I have my armor I can use my my regular light without having to use this hand hand one so you for me it's just L for light the hand one's still a little bit brighter but it's convenient just to be able to hit the L and then uh you got J for your jetpack, and then U for me is helmet. So now my helmet's off, and helmet's on. Is this thing done? 
All right, to get it out of here, you're going to have to go back into your your logistics. And then I'm going to pick cargo box 2. Go ahead and take that out as well. Put that down here. And then... Oh, man, that's going to be a pain in the butt to be able to get to that other stuff. Let's go ahead and add another block here. Just dig it down a little bit, and then I'll put down this next little row. Hopefully that should be good enough. And it doesn't really matter which way you have it positioned. You'll still be able to use it. But I like it this way because you can uh, actually see the little consoles and stuff. Alright, so now we got the advanced constructor. You got to do the same thing where you put uh, the input and the output. So I need to make... I need defenses. So we're going to make... Let's just make two of these for now, two projectile turrets, and they take these 30 millimeter bullets. How many do you get for this? 70, so I get 700 rounds. This should be good enough. I need to make a uh, ammo storage, ammo box. I only need one for right now, that's, that's about all I'll need. And then we'll look at our, our resources and see if I can't make some more. And then a couple of these, uh, I want a couple of small turrets as well, sentry guns. I think I'm going to try to make one more big turret as well. So we got three large turrets and I think 700 rounds. So let me let this build. I don't know if I opened the uh, large doors, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some armored doors, at least one or two armored doors. Because right now, like a, a bug or an animal could just walk through my front door and come down here and start attacking me. And I'd rather avoid that if I could. I can't make an armor door. I'm missing materials. All right, it looks like I got most of the enough resources to get most of my uh, defenses in place. So I went ahead and queued uh, the fifth turret, some more bullets, and I have a capacitor solar, which is like a solar battery. And I went ahead and put two of those, and then I have 15 solar panels in the queue. Once this turret's done, I'm going to go and place this stuff and add some bullets to it. Put the turrets up, put some doors up. I need to get some more doors. And I'd like to get a medical device if I got enough room for it. And a couple of these water generators. The water generators produce water and uh, hydrogen gas. And you need that to uh, make the better fuel types. Plus, you get need oxygen for uh, to be be able to breathe out in space and stuff. All right, let me go to my logistics so I can grab this stuff. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stick a turret right here. You got different types of. Uh, Visuals for the blocks. So if you want them to come out of the ground. Or, you know, just sit there. Oh, these are projectile rifle rounds. I need to get the different rounds. I can't use these right here. Can I use these? Um... I don't know. Let's try using these. Hopefully I can get around it. I 
And then I need a door. Put a door right here. So they have to fight that, uh, that turret. And then I'll put a door right here as well, and another one of these turrets. Turn this thing around. And then let's put the uh, solar cells down. I'm just going to stack these on top of each other. Alright, now I need my ammo box in. So I'm going to shove over here. I might as well shove the ammo in it. Uh, right now it's just these 30 millimeter bullets because I need to make a uh, rifle projectile rounds for these. I about got lost. Is that what it needs? But I'll be able to add those uh, rounds from anywhere. As long as I'm connected to the to the logistics center. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all the stuff out of here that's hopefully built. Alright, so we got our solar panels and our turrets. We got ammo for my yeah. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and put these turrets down. And we're going back upstairs. I was having a hard time seeing where that uh, turret came out. You can get in the turrets and uh, look around. So that should be... Well, I don't know how good it's going to be, but we'll see. Hopefully nothing will come mess with me. Are there any more doors done? Do I have any doors being made? Another thing you can do from your devices is you can go to your large constructor and hit access and you can tell you can build stuff without even actually going into your base. As long as you're on top of this bricks or something connected to it then you can build like from way out over here. Let me go ahead and sleep because it's dark. Alright, so way out here as long as the blocks are connected in some way, you can get a hold of your logistics. You can take stuff out of uh, the boxes. You can put stuff in it. You can go in and uh, manage your construction constructors. You can add fuel. You can... You can do pretty much everything as long as you're on some type of uh, blocks that are connecting everything. I'm going to put down these solar panels. And I think I'm just going to make them go straight up in the air just because I'm lazy. Is that going to be floating? Yeah, I don't want that floating. One of these has a, uh, there. You can only put 15 uh, solar panels down. So I like to put them in, you know, groups of five or three or something like that. Alright, so now I gotta add some more uh, concrete. 
And another good thing about this drone, you can go into water. You're still probably going to have to have uh, generators to be able to power everything. But depending on how much you're using structure, your different devices, and if you're letting them recharge and only using them certain times, sometimes you can get away with just using only solar. Now, if you build a space station, solar is great. All right, let's go ahead and get in our ship and fly over to the turret area. Go ahead and get my drone so I can put down these uh, turrets. It doesn't really matter which way you're turning, facing the turrets. They will orient themselves when they need to. Alright, we got the turrets going. Let's go back into the logistics and add the... Uh, make sure the ammo's in there. So we got base, and then we're going to go to ammo box. Put that in there. Put these projectile rifle rounds in there. Is there any more? Base. Nope. I'll probably have to make some more of these projectile rifle rounds. Alright, let's reload these. So each one will hold 300 rounds, and they got a decent amount of range on them, 246 meters. If you go into space, the range will increase. And one thing I want to do is I want to change these. So I'm going to go to device, and then I'm going to go to these cannon turrets, just start at the top. And then you have... Player faction, NPC factions, Predator, Alien. I'm going to turn this Predator, Alien off. That way they're not wasting rounds on those stupid spiders and stuff like that. And I'm going to do that with all of them. The ones inside, I don't really care, because it's if something gets in there, I kind of want it to get killed. So I'll leave them uh, predator, alien, and well, I might even turn them on prey as well, just in case those little little stun fuckers get inside my base somehow, and they'll kill them. All right, we should be good. Let me go manually. Uh, Reload all these turrets. Now we just gotta wait for a uh, drone attack to come and hopefully the uh, drones will come to uh, my core and these turrets will be able to take them out. But the first one I'll definitely be uh, around in my little vessel so I can assist if I need to. I need to load this thing up. I need to go to prefab. Stick all these rounds in it. I want to turn my turrets and weapons on. And now you see they just popped out. Can I do it from here? And now they went back inside. That's kind of, I think, kind of a cool little feature of the game. Alright, turn my power back on. What else do we have building? 
I don't know. I need to expand this little landing pad so I don't have to, uh, so I can get around it easy and then be able to land fully on it. But eventually, right above, I'm going to have a big hangar doors that'll open up somewhere around here. And I'll just be able to land all the way down at the bottom. So I don't have to walk about, worry about walking all these stairs and crap. Let me expand this out a little bit. If you dig underneath where the grass is, you can get rid of the grass. But I definitely forgot about that. I'll worry about it later. Alright, that should be good enough landing pad. I need to put down these, uh, these water generators. And I like to have them close to my little pad here. That way I can collect the stuff without actually having to get in the water. And then I can put it directly into my inventory or my boxes. And then this needs fuel. Shift click will bring everything over there to fill it up. Alright, that burned almost all my fuel. Alright, so another thing I'm going to need to get is uh, a harvester. So I can uh, start making fuel uh, a whole lot easier. And I'm just going gonna to modify this little crappy thing. to be able to uh, be my harvester. I'll have to put a a landing pad or whatever on it. Hold on, let me find it. I'll have to put a docking pad on it so it'll be able to uh, connect to my logistics just like everything else. So I need to get a, I need a cargo box for it. I don't need these right now. I need a harvester module. The harvester module lets you uh, cut down trees so you can get a uh, wood. And I have a docking pad. If you get this hover boost, it'll make your uh, vehicle be able to jump. I don't need it right now. Uh, I'm going to open the Gatlin guns because I might put one of those on it. And then I need a container ore and wood. And let me go ahead and open the ammo as well. And I'll let me unlock that. And where's the thrusters? RCS and thrusters. Open up some of those. I might put some of those on it. I'll unlock this other stuff when I need it. Yeah, let's get a detector. Alright. Is this thing on? Yes, it's on. All right, let's go down and make some stuff to uh, be able to... I don't even know why I'm going down here. All right, logistics devices. Lars Constructor access. Go ahead and hit the, the hover vessel. I need a docking pad. Where's the harvester? I need an ore and wood container. Probably a cargo box. Is that a weapon? Yeah, it's a weapon. Harvester module. Let's go ahead and put one of those. And some carbon blocks, probably. And a few steel blocks. Let's put an RCS on there. I don't know, I'll put a couple of these. Make six of these, I guess. Let me get some of these doors on.
Now I'll have a respawn station as well. And it'll also heal you. I need to get some food. I'm starving. Alright, while well, this hover vessel stuff is uh cooking, let's go get some some food real quick. Where's my bike? Bike. One thing I like about being by the water is there's a lot of these little vegetables. These are good for making those little emergency rations. And there's usually quite a few of those laying around somewhere. Plus there's spices and stimulants and all kinds of stuff around the, the water's edge. These guys will do quite a bit of dam- Run, run. Quite a bit of damage. But they're not that hard to kill, as long as you just stay far enough away from them. And he's toast. Any more of you? I know I'm low on food. Calm down. I'm getting some. Oh, the bane of my existence, these little fuckers. You can drink milk from those, uh, those big things that I just killed a second ago. They give you milk. Oh, that would have been bad. That thing would have stunned me and then that big thing got me. I need to make some guns as well. It's one thing I haven't done is make guns. Get away. Oh, I've never seen him actually eat me. Indigestion, really? What the hell gave me indigestion? Eat him eat, chewing on me? Alright, I need to find some herbal leaves to get rid of this indigestion. I think these will get rid of yeah, these are herbal leaves. Alright, that relieved my indigestion. I don't know if I got it from the milk or him biting me. Alright, back to base. Check my stuff. Maybe queue up some weapons. And then, uh, I might call it quits for the day, because that's quite a bit of stuff. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Alright, logistics. Oh, no, I can't do a logistics from here. Actually, i got to go down and put that food in my little survival constructor. Alright, I want meat. A lot of meat. If you don't mind dying and respawning in, um, you could just let your food just die, uh, completely go away and you'll start you back off in like 200 and something. Alright, good enough. Alright, now let's add some of this mess to this monstrosity they call a hover vessel. I'm going to go ahead and leave the engines running and then get out so I can put this the things underneath. 
I need to put this docking pad. I'm just going to put it right there. Add another one of these in the front and the back. I right, should be able to put it down now. And then I want to put this thing on the front. Just go ahead and, sh and shove it there, and then we're going to put these uh, thrusters on this thing. These are kind of a pain in the ass to figure out exactly which way they're going to be blowing. All right, danger exhaust, so I know they go this way. And then I'll put a, probably put a light here in the middle, just an off chance that I'm actually doing something out and about. Um, shove the RCS there. Shove that there. Are these still facing the front? Yep. So I gotta rotate these around. Yeah, I'm not going to get no combat with this thing. Or not much. And then I want... At least one on each side. Fill this lower mess and I'll put a little bit of armor on it. Not much. Hopefully it'll have enough power. There's a way you can go in and you can... Uh, uh, which button is it? I think it's in. Yeah, you can go symmetri symmetry plane. And you can put stuff on each side of it. But we'll go over that maybe more in detail later. I'm not the best, like, builder, so I'm definitely, like, a blocky kind of builder. Oh, come on. Get up there. I just want something right now that will actually just fly around and work. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to put on here? Oh yeah, my turret. Alright, that should be enough for a little bit of defense if I'm out cutting cutting some grass. Let's go into logistics and add hover vessel. Oh, I need a uh, ammo. Let me get out of here. I need an ammo box. I don't think I actually took it out of the uh, inventory. So 
gonna put it there call it a day all right let's check see if this thing will actually move around looks good to me all right seem a little more stable than it was before all right let's go ahead and see if it'll cut grass I need to get down close to the ground. And now I can just clear cut the whole area when I need, uh, when I need wood. If I put a uh, constructor on it, then I would be able to just go ahead and make uh, fuel f directly from it, but I like to use those little small constructors, those portable ones, just because they don't require power. And until I get uh, a lot of promethium from some auto miners, I'm kind of stingy on how I use my power. Alright, that's good enough. Back to base. Alright, gonna land this on the base up here. This will be my little hover platform right now. I hold C till it lands and you hear that little weird noise. All right, we got a lot accomplished today. Got our defenses up, got our, our construction stuff started, and then hopefully tomorrow I'll make a bunch of weapons and ammo and we'll start actually exploring the map and looking for different resources and attacking some of the the Xyrax POIs hopefully find a nice couple supply de depots because they're pretty easy and figure out where this drone base is so thanks for watching and I will catch y'all later